On our way up the mountain, we drove through the quaint little township of Bellingen and we stopped in at Thora to have a little walk along the river. After Thora, that's where the road starts to twist and bend. And this is our first waterfall, Newell Falls. You pass several waterfalls on the way up the mountain and there's a few areas like this where you give way as it's only wide enough for one vehicle at a time. This is approaching Shepherd Falls. They're not really visible as you go up the mountain so we'll show you them on the way back. And so we keep twisting and bending up the mountain almost up to the top and here we are at the turn off to Dorigo National Park. Big leeches are in the grounds near the picnic area. The Skywalk is just 75 metres from the visitor centre, easy access and can give everyone gorgeous views. This is the Dorigo Sky Walk in the Dorigo National Park. Usually when we come here it's so cloudy you can't see. So We haven't got blue sky today but it's high cloud. There's views for miles over the top of the rainforest. We spent some time here trying to spot birds in the trees. No birds? I can hear them. Hmm. And above the trees. little guy came out of the trees to visit us at the boardwalk. We spotted his yellow-bellied mate as well. We also spotted this interesting species. He wasn't in a hurry to fly away. And here we are deciding to do the 6.6k Wonga Walk circuit. This is crazy. We've only just started this walk in the Dorigo National Park. It's a 6K, they say two and a half hours. And we are literally just off the entry and he's stopped there for the last five minutes trying to photograph a bird. He stops for every single bird. So this two and a half hours could turn into six hours. See where he is up there photographing birds. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. And we've spent five minutes here trying to photograph one bird in the first 200 metres. <laughs> it's going to be a long walk. We also stopped for lizards. It's all been paved so far. There's bush turkey in there, in those roots of the strangler fig. Strangler fig. Oop. He's tripped over his root. <coughs> it goes up so high you can't see the top. We also spotted some interesting fungi on the roots and branches. The 
walk is really pretty with lots of rainforest foliage and plenty of strangler figs. These metal sculptures are strategically placed on rocks along the walk. They're really well done. We're quite high up on the path here. See, all the way down. You can also hear waterfalls somewhere over in the distance, but we're weaving around. It could be quite a while yet. When you look closely, there's lots of tiny flowers to admire. Come down here and be my Tarzan. Oh. Mm, not quite the same. So we're nearly at Tristiana Falls. It says we're only another 15 minutes. And the circuit, we've still got, what, two and a half hours to go. It was two and a half hours at the start. This plant's collapsed. A tree falling apart. Lots of strangler figs. And we're starting to hear the waterfall. I got a leech. I just pulled him off my arm. And he's gonna stick again to my finger. There was a leech. Come down. He's stuck on my arm. I did, I flicked him in the bush there somewhere. Where there's one, there's more. Here we are, this is Tristiana Falls. Oh, that's nice. So now we keep walking the track towards Crystal Shower Falls. We've been walking uphill so we're puffed, but we've come to Hardwood Lookout. Here there would be the view that we saw from the Skywalk. The ocean. You can see the ocean. And here we are arriving at Crystal Shower Falls. We've arrived at the Cascade Falls, which is the second waterfall, and you can actually walk behind the waterfall. So we're in. Is it? That's the rest of the walk, we haven't been over that bridge yet. So we haven't seen the waterfall from the front. This is pretty cool, we're getting dripped on here. Oh, I'm getting quite wet.
and we were lucky enough that there was another tourist there who could take our photo standing behind the waterfall. And that's where we just were standing behind that waterfall there. A little bit further up the track is this cute little section of the Crystal Showers Falls. So the Crystal Showers goes through the path and then it goes down here a little bit into the rainforest. And so now we're on our climb up on the way out. Frogs. Some more metal animals found on the rocks on the way out. We are really sweaty now. It's been an uphill walk. And we're a kilometre now from the visitor centre and we've got to this nice boardwalk. Just walk amongst the birds. So we'll be slowing down to take more photos. The whole path has been quite nice. Been paved or oh it is raining. Can't really feel it through the trees. The trees are thinning out so it's starting to get a bit wet. There's lots of information boards in this area. Here we are, nearly out. Tarzan. It's raining. What a nice refreshing end to the walk. You get rained on, nice and cool. Visitor Centre. Wet. Wet. Wet but cool. At the entrance to these visitor centre, there's these giant leeches. Now I know why. <laughs> there is also a cafe here as well. And a nice gift shop inside. So the big one for you. <laughs> big one. Big strawberry. I'll have a strawberry. Thank you. So we finished this the, the walks at Dorigo. It was supposed to be two and a half hours. It took us about three hours, 20 minutes. Seems like forever. <laughs> There was a bit of uphill. We're not terribly fit. A really nice walk though. Really nice. The the paving was surprising. Like there was no rock hopping at all. No. It was um yeah, it was a good track. Yep, so back for a bit of lunch. Um we're nearly passing out because it's nearly three o'clock, but <laughs> that it was a really good walk, really nice walk. And now it's time to make the trek back down the Dorigo Mountain. Lots more twists and bends, and some nice views in some areas too. Oh, there it is, Shepherd's Falls. That's a good view from there. Can't see it on the way up. See it on the way down. 
road works going on at the bottom of the waterfall way. We're on our way down. We're following a truck down the mountain and there's a queue forming behind him. But there's not much you can do about it, everyone just has to go really slow. There is the occasional pull-off area for slow vehicles, but they're not very common. That's what it would be like with a caravan too. The waterfall way is a great drive. Just be prepared if you're taking your caravan that it's a steep climb and a slow descent. <laughs> 